Something about the surf, the title. We have always bound back. People of Hong Kong are fighters. Singapore seems to be more, more, yeah, more, looks more attractive place for people to travel and do business and whatever. But I think Hong Kong, with uh, the recent situation with COVID and maybe political or whatever, it's not as not like it used to before. Hong Kong definitely took a big hit from COVID because it was closed for a really long time, so there was not a lot of people going there. And a lot of people definitely felt a little bit uh, constrained by the fact that like, leaving Hong Kong and coming back to Hong Kong was kind of complicated, and for the business community, that's obviously very important. You have to travel a lot, go to different places. I don't think this ranking means much. Um, we should see this as like a long-term thing instead of like a short-term, like an annual yearly thing. Um, yeah, but still, I think we should work together because uh, within, um, I think we're quite similar in some cases because uh, Singapore has a lot of cultural and heritage sites uh, that they're trying to revitalize. We should be friends and self like competing. For the major tech firms in Hong Kong, the ratings are probably quite important. First or second doesn't matter. You look at the, you look at the Singapore Stock Exchange. What is the tone of the Singapore Stock Exchange? It's one fourth of that of Hong Kong. I don't need to compare Hong Kong to Singapore or to any other country in the world. I think Hong Kong is stopped by itself. Once the COVID restrictions are gone, I think Hong Kong will bounce back. Hong Kong has always bounced back. Let it be SARS or COVID. It could be symbolic that if uh, some companies are considering where they would like to have their Asian headquarters, they would most likely uh, choose the city which bears the title of the financial head. In Singapore, it's quite different. You can, for example, go without masks. So maybe that's what uh, business considering as a disadvantage of Hong Kong right now. Maybe the RFC, lots of companies moving to Singapore. Most important is let the policy must be more freedom, just like before, not, uh, not to block our way and help, and help Hong Kong industry to involve better. Shenzhen is actually gaining its more attention from the mainland China. Nowadays, the government put more attention on the development of Shenzhen instead of Hong Kong. So if we want to draw attention, uh, make these talents come back to Hong Kong, I think uh, the government should pay attention to this quality of life, like how they can make their citizens' life better. Hong Kong introduced, recently introduced some new visa regulations for high-earning expats, which is really good, because like, as, as far as I know, they're even better and more, um, they're, they're better than what Singapore is offering to, to higher earning expats. But I think overall, like their relaxation of policies and uh, there definitely has to be a lot of, um, um, let's say PR work done in, regard to, in regards to proving that Hong Kong is a safe hub for foreign investment. I think China can do a lot for the city because they can either invest here or let foreign countries to invest here, so maybe just open it more for foreign investments uh, and the COVID issue, of course. COVID policy is not entirely in Hong Kong's hands. Mainland China is the main determinant for the COVID policy. So as long as mainland China is closed off and has a zero COVID policy, then it's very difficult for Hong Kong to operate like Singapore. I think Hong Kong government need to accept the COVID-19 is become normal phenomenon in the world. Maybe we can open more of the travel. We can let more people come Hong Kong and don't, no need to have zero plus three. The Chinese market seems very sort of saturated and like it's starting to plateau and people might think they want to diverge to Southeast Asia. So one thing for Hong Kong would be to yeah, prove to people that it's stable by like efficient regulation and etc. And uh, maybe expand its presence in Southeast Asia as well. I still believe in Hong Kong. Um, since we have so much history, 
and we've tried so hard to develop and to have a good foundation uh, for so long. We shouldn't be very easily for other people to just hit us down. I'm born in Hong Kong, born and raised in Hong Kong, so definitely my allegiance goes to Hong Kong. I want Hong Kong to be number one.